Superman of science And he loves to play with fire And the things you do You can do If you so desire Do try this at home With Mr. G Hello and welcome back to Do Try This at Home. Do Try This at Home is the show that takes ordinary household items and turns them into something extraordinary. Today on Do Try This at Home, we're going to be playing around with static electricity, charge transference, and you might want to learn a little bit about the triboelectric scale or triboelectric effect. How can you learn a little more about that? Well, you could type it into a search engine and look it up. Or you can watch an older video of mine called Lightning in Your Hand. That's right. Go check that video out and I'll describe in greater detail a little bit more about what's really going on here as well. Now, what are you going to need for today's experiment? Well, you're going to need some type of a plastic tube or plastic rod you could use. Um, this is something, this is a tube that something came shipped in, it's a container like, and um, it's got some half hair on it, it's old, it's been lying around. Um, you could use a piece of PVC pipe, that would work just as well. And you're gonna need some packing peanuts. If you'd like, an interesting effect can be achieved if you have some old tinsel from a Christmas tree lying around, and you're going to need a simple ordinary paper cut that paper towel almost couldn't say paper that time ah that was fun anyways um, without further ado let's get started with today's experiment and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of a wider shot so that you can see exactly what's going on and this experiment is a lot of fun believe me it is I messed around with this for oh probably an hour yesterday just having a great time with it it is it's something that you can just just do and have fun with for, for quite a while. It really can become addictive, actually. It's actually something that, that I think you're going to enjoy. So let's get going. Okay, now that we're at a little bit better viewing angle, I'm gonna take my plastic tube. You can use PVC pipe again, or plastic rod, or anything you have like that. And you wanna polish it up with your paper towel, or at least that's what it seems like you're doing. What you're really doing is you're transferring charge. The tube is becoming one charge, positive or negative, while the paper towel is taking on the opposite charge. Now, let's take a piece of our um, packing foam and watch this. Since the packing foam is made of about the same material, it's got about the same charge. And look at that. Wow, it just floats in midair above the tube. That one wants to just tumble around. It's really cool though, look at that. Let's try a different shape. Oh, I cut this one kind of in the shape of the letter E. I hope you can see that. And watch this. Look at that. I'm going to try to get it a little bit closer to the camera with it. You can just see it floating. Whoa, in midair. Look at that. Now it wants to attract to other objects in the room that are oppositely charged. So keep it away from other objects in your hand. It'll want to attract to you really bad. But as long as you keep it you know, kind of far away from you and above the tube. Look at that. Kind of eerie, isn't it? Maybe this is how UFOs work. Whoa, it came up to me. Maybe this is how UFOs fly. Maybe they repel something else in the, uh, in the cosmos. They stay aloft. Or maybe the Earth itself, that's how they stay flying in our atmosphere. Who knows? But E for eerie, because Halloween's on the way. We all like Halloween, don't we? Kind of an eerie time of year this time of year. Look at that. That is so cool. Okay, let's try our tinsel. This is really cool if I get it to work. You want to get it. Okay, first the tinsel is going to attract to the tube until it gains the same charge as the tube. And then look at this. It's kind of all wrapped up. If I could get it a little more unraveled, it would work even better. I'll tell you what, let's get a little bit more charge in the tube. I'm wiping with a paper towel. And now Oh, I think we got it now. Let's see. Okay. There we go. Did you see it? It, it, it attracted the tube, then it just bounced off because it transferred the charge. Okay. A little too high there. You're probably out of frame. There we go. It just transferred the charge. So it, it, it attracted to the tube, but once the charge transferred, now the light charges in the tinsel. And now it repels. And you can make it go down or up at will. And 
it's going to want to track to your hand so you can guide it with your hand. Because I can guide it which way I want it to go. Because it wants to attract to me. Look at that. That is unbelievable. Let me try to get that one. I can guide this better, so I'll try to get it closer to the camera. Hey, remember to check out my blog, www.mindlessmirth, M-I-N-D-L-E-S-S-M-I-R-T-H.com. And you can find the link in the description of this video, too. And check out mrgmi.com. Look at that. That's amazing, isn't it? Let me get it closer in yet. Whoa, it's going to want to track to the camera tripod because it's an opposite charge. Tinsel's kind of fine. Anyway, let's do the E one more time before we exit. E for exit. Before I exit the stage of do try this at home. Amazing. Hi, Mr. G. I hope you have a great time with this experiment. It's a lot of fun. Stick around for the outtakes, and I'll see you next time right here on Do Try This at Home. Styrofoam in the eye, just what I wanted for Christmas. Do Try This at Home is the show that takes ordinary household items like this tube, wow, that's this light at the pump, I crushed it. The tube I'm about to crush and not have and not be able to use for my experiment. Okay, let's try that over again. Hello, I'm Mr. G. I'm here today to talk to you about a very serious subject. Hacking peanuts. Don't eat packing peanuts. So anyways, without further ado, let's do